Hello there from Sammamish. Ahead of the busy holiday weekend, so many of you getting ready to celebrate with family. We want you to be safe. Don't keep our firefighters working overtime. And in fact, a big thank you to the Eastside Professional Firefighters for a heads up on a Friday feel good story. Their own family is expanding. My name is Lucas Story. We're at Station 83. I'm a probationary firefighter. It's just my second shift that I pulled uh, yesterday. First week being a firefighter. Yes, sir. How's it feel? Uh, it's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome to be out of academy. My first week on the job, I forgot to turn the microphone on. <laughs> what mistakes have you made? Uh, I left, honestly, I left my jacket on the tombstone there, uh, and we almost left for a call, and I had to kind of, kind of run out and grab it real quick. So. So that's the little kid habit. Oh, you left yeah. your coat lying around. Yep, yep, Come on, exactly, Lucas. exactly. <laughs> what does it mean to you to get to live your dream and also carry on a family tradition? Uh, it's awesome. Uh, it's emotional. You're following your uncle's footsteps. How cool is that? I've looked up to him my whole life. So back when you were a little kid taking photos in his gear in the rig, did you have any idea that suddenly one day it would be your turn? You'd be standing right here. Uh, no, actually, I had no idea. I'm pretty sure when I was a little kid, I put my uncle's bunker gear on and said that this was too heavy and I didn't want to be a firefighter. <laughs> Uncle Jeff, you can ask anybody around here with any, any station around here. Uh, I mean, he's the number one firefighter. He's an awesome person, awesome family guy. He's looked up to what I've done for a long time and followed my footsteps and I couldn't be any prouder of him. I'm definitely thankful for being hired. I've always really liked helping people. So fire department, I mean, that's the number one thing we do is community service and helping people. Yeah, I'm thankful.